Hey guys, on our website, New HVAC Guide, I was just talking to somebody recently and they actually recommended me do a video on this. So I'm gonna kind of cover a couple things. And my whole goal is if you are in the market for a heating and air system, or you're just looking for someone to work with for the future, maybe a repair company, just a good heating and air contractor that you can develop some sort of a relationship with, and you are out shopping, you're kind of interviewing a few, or you're kind of looking around, maybe you're asking your neighbor who's good and things like that. And there's a few things I think you should probably address with any and every company and just to make sure that it's gonna be a fit moving forward. The first thing, one thing that I do, every time I have a customer that is kind of filling us out, maybe they'll say, hey, I used so-and-so for a whole bunch of years, and now I'm considering you guys, and that's why I gave you a call and so on. One of the things I like to do a lot of times is I'll ask the homeowner, hey, what did you not like about the last guy? And the reason is if whatever they didn't like, if we do the same exact thing, I want that customer to know that up front. I tell them just right up front. For example, if the last company wore blue and they don't like the color blue, well, by gosh, we wear blue too. And uh, so I kind of say that jokingly, but a lot of times we have had customers say, hey, you know, I, I expect a company to be here within 10 minutes when I call them. And I'll just tell them up front, look, you know, I can't always deliver on that either. You know, if we get super busy in the summer, we try to prioritize certain customers over others, maybe somebody that's a part of our VIP club or somebody that's been a customer of ours for a long time. But with all that said, we can't always be Johnny on the spot, okay? And I just let them know that up front. So if they are shopping around and they're trying to find a contractor that they love and that it's a fit, I'm gonna tell them right up front, hey, look, what you didn't like about the last guy, you're not gonna like that about me either. I had somebody tell me not that long ago, they said, hey, you know, I had this contractor, I liked them, but they won't install this particular brand. And I had to tell them, look, you know, unfortunately I don't install that brand either and I won't. Uh, for a number of reasons, we have certain brands that we like to work with, but we have certain brands that we don't like to work with for one reason or another. And so I think everyone feels that way. You'll talk to one heating and air contractor and they like one brand or another for one reason or another. But I think ultimately just telling that contractor right up front what you're wanting, you know, you want someone that's gonna do X, Y, Z, that way that contractor can say to you right from the get go, hey, you know, it's just not gonna be a fit. Of course, you might have somebody that tells you what you wanna hear just to get your business. But I think ultimately most decent heating and air companies or contractors or technicians are going to just tell you right up front, they would rather win a customer for life than get one over you. Another thing I can think of is certain technicians have certain pet peeves or things that they like. I did a whole video not that long ago about things that heating and air technicians hate. I kind of pick on some of the technicians with some of that stuff, but I have actually worked with some folks or talked to some folks that are technicians or some sort of contractor. And they'll say things like, hey, I don't like a homeowner that hovers or one that kind of looks over my shoulder the whole time. And I personally don't have a problem with that. I've kind of talked about that in a few videos. I like a homeowner that wants to be involved and that way I can kind of educate them on a few things and we can just kind of go back and forth. And it also gives me a chance to honestly connect with our customers. It gives me a chance to kind of get to know them and they can get to know me and we can develop a relationship that, you know, we can work together for a long time. But some guys just don't like that. They don't, they don't respond well with that. So if you're that kind of homeowner, you know, I would tell them, tell the technician, hey, look, I, I like to hover. I like to know what's going on. I like to be involved. And so that way, again, if they have a problem with that, they can just tell you right up front. Another one would be, I've had homeowners tell me that they don't like young technicians, that they only want old timers or they only want you know, somebody that's been doing this for years upon years. And so if you're that kind of a person, you should tell your contractor that upfront. Some contractors can help with that, they can deliver, and some can't. Some might even tell you right upfront, look, I've got some young guys working for me and they're good and we're teaching them and all that good stuff, but I don't have many of those old timers like kind of like you're describing. That said, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. In fact, a lot of times, a lot of old timers that I've come across, now not all of them, but I would say the majority of them are stuck in their ways. 
They're hard to get on board with things that are changing, new technology and things like that. They won't even look at higher seer systems for one reason or another, or, or systems that have newer technologies, they just won't install them. So just because a company doesn't have an old timer or isn't sending an old timer to your home, that's not always necessarily a bad thing. But again, if that's what you want, that's what you want. You know, if that's what you want, you should say to your contractor, this is what I'm wanting, can you deliver on that? And the last thing I'll say, and I'll just tread lightly with this, but we have had contact with certain customers that honestly, we severed ties with them. Uh, whether it's because they didn't like people of certain races, I didn't feel comfortable sending my employees to their house because of that, or if they're just someone that's sexist, if they, you know, they want only men to work at their house, they think, you know, one thing or another about women, and sometimes we'll sever ties with that. But again, if you're that kind of person, I'm not necessarily saying that's a good thing, but I think that you being up front, so if you tell the contractor, look, I don't want women here, I only want men or something like that. And that contractor doesn't feel comfortable with that or they have women that work for them and they might not feel comfortable with that. At least you're getting it out in the open from the get go before there's some sort of problem. All that said, I hope that helps. If you're in the market for a heating and air system and you're in the Northern Neck or the Middle Peninsula all the way down to Williamsburg in Virginia, Give us a call at Griffin Air. We'd love to earn your business and we have the best warranty around. But if you're not in our coverage area and you're in the market for a new heating and air system, before you spend thousands, check out my website, newhvacguide.com. I've put so much stuff on there. I've put so much information. It's like I wrote a book, but instead of a book that will go out of date, this is a website that I can continue to massage and update and add more information to. New technology comes out, I can add that. And I just really think before you spend thousands, you should check out that website, I think it'll help. All that said, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.